Hello my love, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria, thank you so much for hanging out with me once again. So I don't know if you guys saw the first video, but pretty much what I said during that video is that today was supposed to be a quiet day of reflection. It's so important for me to spend quiet moments to myself where I'm connecting with my higher self, connecting with the divine, and then I'm not allowing, allowing any type of outside energy, even the things that is I love the most, to kind of impede or step into that sacred space which is so important for me and as i was spending that time which is very often that i do this as i was spending this time with myself i received one of a few messages that and one of them i'm going to be sharing with you here in this video i got this idea spirit was kind of showing me <clears throat> this idea this concept of you us me, I, all of us, right? When we set a boundary or if we say to some someone or something, I don't want you in here. Like you speak up and you say, I don't, you're not invited in this space. You're not invited in my bubble. And someone decides to push past that, to push past that barrier. These are the same energies that spirit, the divine is actively protecting you from right now. So let's say, for example, it's someone that is that you love or care about and they just cannot help but to insert their opinion, to give their perspective on your life choices, how you're moving in your life, your life, emphasis on your life. This is what you decide to do, what you need Okay, I also just heard something about like a chapter in your life, moving forward with the next chapter in your life and the boundaries that you've implemented in the previous chapters. Now, all of a sudden, you find that those same people can't, because they don't, because there's boundaries in force, that they're not going to come with you into this next chapter of your life because they cannot benefit from you in the way that they have in the past. Spirit wants to reassure and to reaffirm that it is actively working to protect you from those same people who refuse to accept no as an answer. To the same people who want to mooch off of you, who, who see something that you are and there's something within them that wants to drain it, to contribute, to add to it in some way when the invitation has been declined, the offer is not on the table. The answer has and will be forever will be no. Spirit wants to reassure and reaffirm and to say that spiritually we are working to protect you from those people because regardless of the role that they've had in your life in the past or present, if they even had a role, they do not have a role now, here, and then moving forward, not in the same capacity that they once had, once did, or if they even had it. I want to say too that there might be some people who who just want to put in their opinion. They want to be a part of your life. They want to be a, a, a seen by you in some way, approached by you, or they want to approach you. They just want a piece of you for whatever reason that they think that you would serve within their life. As I'm saying this, my nose is lit, you guys. And for those of you guys that don't know, my nose, literally, it feels like there's like um fairies or a vibrator or something like something's just vibrating on the tip of my nose and it's always been confirmation i also feel it in my collarbone but anyways um it's just when i'm channeling in spirits like go 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 you're doing great so this is hard for many for many of you guys it will be affirmation strong affirmation spirit is as i'm saying it like right at the very beginning that i got this message i got this strong sense in my spirit i'm like so what's the point of saying all of this if, is there something that I should be doing? Is there something that they should be doing? Like what in addition to this message do, do we do? And there's a strong sense of confirmation just being like, just know that I have your back. Just know that I'm actively protecting you and you need to be aware. I think it's so interesting and significant that I think in the last few videos, one of my last prophetic messages or words that I was receiving that Spirit was saying very clear as day to be aware, to be aware that these type of energies do exist. I don't know if they've made themselves so known in your life now or they're trying to make themselves known or doing different things to get louder and louder and louder. But Spirit is saying literally continue to lock it down. This is not your energy. 
this is a fresh chapter. You are not meant to show up in the same way that you once did in the past. These people, there's an emphasis on if they even served a role, they will not serve a role now here in this chapter in your life. It doesn't matter if it's your mother, your father, or someone that you've never met before. They want to have an important, integral part of your journey and the truth is is that either they a don't deserve it or b what they have to offer does not contribute or have any value into the person the path that is that you're taking right now and there's no offense just go your way i'm going mine it was already decided i'm following my truth i'm following eyes on the divine i'm manifesting and moving according to my path my purpose divine will this should not offend you if you actually had my best interest at heart me moving in alignment with my truth and authenticity and integrity should not be offensive to you in any way because I do not take offense to you moving in according to your will. Why would you take offense to mine? So spirit wants to really strongly say to you that I am actively working to spiritually block and dismiss and deny and detangle these energies that want so badly to infuse, embed themselves in any way that they can into your life now. Again, if they at any point along the journey or in your life served any even tiny role, that role is done now. They have been fired, it's been disconnected, they do not serve the same role. And these people are struggling to adjust with your evolution, with how you are growing and what is for your best interest. And having said that and knowing that, you don't need to change or compromise or apologize for the path that you are on right now and who is with you and who isn't. Having said that, spirit wants, I just heard like clear as day, I want you to observe who I've taken out of your life. If you're experiencing a, a long period of silence from person, people, places, things that you would normally trust or want in your energy or in your vibe, those you may not be consciously aware. They might not be consciously aware. Please, no, not right now, dude, down. Sorry, she's been like very licky lately. Um, anyways. Oh, so they might not be consciously aware of the changes because there might not have been any drama, there might not have been anything stated, but Spirit is saying that they, th these are part of the people who are being exited out because you may not know their intention, you may not know their path, you may not know the conversations, you may not know the thoughts that they're thinking. They may not necessarily be negative or detrimental to you in, in, in any way, but they simply do not serve in the period that you're in in your life right now and it's time to move forward i'm gonna go but yeah that's the message for today you guys i'm sending you all of my love i hope that you are well and feel free to subscribe to this youtube channel if you'd like give this video a thumbs up if it did help you i'm not here to force that either um but i do appreciate it because it means a lot to me all right until then you guys i will see you in my next video bye